Welcome to a new and we got your gaming need for a tight topic, tight tweets, and spicy memes. I am Brody Moore. And I am Ronald Lee. And today we're going to present all the goodies we've gathered, which we will most likely discuss and even more likely argue. <laughs> but luckily for us, there's this beautiful mute button that we can only use once to shut each other up. And shout out to chat. We like it when you call us out when we're wrong and praise us when we're spitting hot truth. Let's get into it, why don't we? Let's kick it off our day with a little CSGO controversy. Finnish CSGO pro Yuho Yuhaba Lampinen was recently playing in a loot bet event where viewers caught him firing at a wall where he had zero sight of his opponent. Hmm. To make matters worse, Yuhab immediately started spinning around in a circle, firing off random shots to try and cover his behavior. Many in the community were convinced he was cheating. Oh. Now, Ron, a couple approaches to this. I guess first off, for a tournament that's small like that and doesn't right. really have the, the resources to look into this, how do you go about dealing with this? And do you think he was cheating? I mean, like, he could have just actually been spinning around. Yeah, there's no hard evidence, right? So in scenarios like this, you don't want to like ban him outright without getting the, the cold, hard facts. Yeah. Uh, you might just kind of have to let it slide. There's not much you can do without um, the big backing of your companies or like refs on the spot, yeah. which is why I've never been a big fan of like, small tournaments to begin with. I, I don't give them a lot of credit. I don't think players are good until you know they perform in a live land environment. I, I kind of just chalk up these tiny little That's miners. a whole other argument there. Like, I disagree with you on that one. Really? Okay, well, to go back to the cheating, right? If like th that's that's a big thing. I, I don't think people can like always be guaranteed that the people competing without an allowed environment are going mm -hmm. to be uh, like legitimately that whatever they're still truthful is. to what they're doing. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I feel like you almost have to take a hard stance. Like I don't. I think we can agree that none of us like cheaters in games. It just kind of ruins no. the games, right? So I, I I don't know. I feel like you almost just have to put the foot down and say we have an absolute zero tolerance to this um, if it looks like you're cheating. Ah, uh, but it then. It's like, like no. And then it's like some people do look like bots when they're playing. Yeah. You know, it's like you're a bot when you're playing constantly, but for bad reasons. Wow. You're an Why? AI Already at it, you're, man. I'm Come sorry. on. It's, it's a I was gonna the... be nice today to you. Were you nice? No. But that's out the window now. Well, I see. Like, here's the thing. I like a little bit of like hard to get. So like, be mean and be nice <laughs> okay. later. So bring it back and forth. Okay. And so we'll ultimately, you think that that in small tournaments it should just be let slide, and now you think that's just because it's hard to for decide, reasons. or do you Not think it's just because like, you don't take small tournaments seriously. No, okay, well, that, that thing was mainly on the side. I think it's mainly because, like, we just, the burden of proof isn't, like, there. We, we just, you can't figure it out. Until then, you, you, you kind of, you can't... So multiply. second chances. Yes, you must. Okay, you know what? I'll give second chances. I always believe in second chances. Beyond that, you're banned. Yeah, okay. So we all know that Twitch is primarily used for gaming, but there are some streamers experimenting with the platform. And Frodite has been using Twitch to stream tarot cards readings for his audience. And unfortunately, the advice you get from this psychic might not always be in your best interest. Some observers were concerned with the advice he gave one viewer, where he implied that she should leave her husband. Uh-oh. This is Ron. Okay, so... Well, first off, why are you watching tarot cards? Is it tarot or tarot? I, I was thinking that. I was thinking tarot, like the... Is it a vegetable? Is it a fruit? Yeah. You know, it's taro. taro. Yeah, yeah, it's taro, taro. chips. We don't know what we're Chat. talking about. <laughs> One for taro, two for taro. Taro. Uh, tar I don't know. Drop it in. Drop it, put a three there to confuse either, us. Either way, I, I I don't know. I mean, if you're taking it, if you're taking one of those card readers, seriously, right. um, that, I, I feel like you already which, got which some I problems. Don't. I'm going to say that right now. I'm, yeah. I'm not a, yeah. I think, you know, you can believe in divination if you want. You could really, like, uh, do whatever you want as long as it's harmless to someone else. But the problem I have with this is because he's, like, trying to convince someone else mm. or at least imply that she should, like, change her life in a significant way, so you're trying to get involved in like a stranger's business. Yeah, I thought that stuff was supposed to just be about but well, that, wait. predicting, but I guess the, it, they probably never outright said it was just the implication. Now, yeah. do you think Twitch should get involved in this? I mean, if like if someone goes on there and starts telling people that, you know, um, to do a whole bunch of bad things, you know, go out and beat homeless <laughs> people, you know, promoting flat earth right, and right, anti-vax right. and all that stuff. It's like, should someone get involved in that at that point? Like, should Twitch yeah. take a, foot, a step in, or should they just say, okay, you guys should use your brains here and realize that this is just entertainment? Ooh, that's a hard decision, because I think free speech is free speech. I believe people should yeah. be able to say, and you know, for the large part, do whatever they do, as long as, again, it doesn't harm other I, people. Uh, but the internet isn't a, a country, right? Like, it's a service that Twitch is allowed to cut you off from. Yeah, but we still want to maintain the, the, our favorite parts about the internet, which is like the free speech mm -hmm. and like the, the freedom to do whatever you so wish. Okay. Um, but because, like, so here's the thing. Because he did the tarot card readings and he was like saying 
to this lady, you know, she'd cheat on her husband. That's still not like. Not cheat, leave. Or leave. That's, a, that's even so, worse. We were talking about cheating the other day, so <laughs> yeah. I'm cheating on mine. We were talking about a cheater earlier, yeah, too, yeah, yeah. the hackers. But um, yeah, it's like it, it's up to her whether or not she does it or takes his advice. I think it's fine for him to do that. I know, but he's influencing. So you, you're influenced by ads and stuff all the time, every day, everywhere you go. Fair, I and, suppose. And you don't know about those, so. Yeah. Like, All just because right. you buy a violent video game and, like, you know, you're murdering people in the game, that doesn't mean it's influencing you to do those things. They're not responsible for those things. Don't take tarot card readers seriously, basically, <laughs> TLDR here. Anyways, next up, Call of Duty is moving to a franchise model in 2020 with team spots costing up to $25 million US. This seems like an overall positive, but it could come at a cost for players. Optic Gaming CEO Hector Rodriguez said that the league could implement streaming rules similar to that of the Overwatch League. Hmm. Overwatch pro players are not allowed to stream within an hour of any league event, and no more than two OWL players can stream together at the same time during that event. This could hurt COD streamers like Skump, uh, who Hector says makes up to $190,000 a month. Now, obviously, coming from OWL, you've yes. seen this, um, and I'm wondering if you think that this is going to hurt some of the COD scene, because the COD scene it already has a bit of an issue with people streaming, because none of them want to stream their scrims and stuff, yeah. right? So they already have no an issue. No competitive team wants to do that. Well, ever. yeah, 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 yeah. but even, I've seen it even more so in, in COD. So their, their numbers oh. are already going to be hurt. Do you think mm -hmm. this is going to hurt them even more? Do you think this is an overall positive for the league? Yeah, no, I think it'll hurt the numbers for sure, but that's kind of like the thing that you have to agree to if you want to compete in the league, right? Um, you know, like, this franchise has to make back their investments or whatever, they have to make money, and mm -hmm. they want to get the max viewership, the best numbers uh, for other investors and, and sponsors and stuff like that, so they don't want that to take away from people watching their, their big product. Mm -hmm. um, so in my opinion, I think, you know, from the Overwatch League, uh, some of the players didn't like it at first. They thought, oh, it was dumb. You know, I should be able to stream whenever I want. Um, but that's the price of being pro. You got to kind of have to play by the rules. Do, but for players like Scump that are making so much money, do you not think this is going to hurt their money bankroll? Money or, or competition. I think, like, for some, you kind of have to be like, okay, well, money will come. I always have a like fallback plan of streaming if I really wanted to, but if I want to compete and really show I'm the best, then that should be a, a reward in it of itself for that person. They should want it that bad to compete over the money. So you don't, so you don't think that um, you know taking some time away. I mean, we saw it with Ninja when when Ninja stopped streaming for like three days, he lost like what, like forty thousand subs. Yeah, but like, do you do feel you bad for Ninja? Well, no, no, no. I'm, <laughs> I'm saying for some of these other players that aren't even not making as much as Scum. Okay. It's like, do you think that there's that guaranteed fall? Are you saying they're going to have that guaranteed fallback of streaming um, if they take that time away now to not stream on those those weekends when the events are happening? Of course not. I don't think anything is guaranteed. But so that's um, the tough decision they have to make now. Well, the, like, life is full of tough, tough decisions, especially in esports when it's such like a newfangled thing and these companies like to to get more investors and make it a, a properly polished thing. We got to kind of have to do what they want for a bit to build it up. I, I don't know if it doesn't. Uh, we'll agree see. to disagree, agree to I disagree. Suppose. But we're moving on. Okay. Our last story involves Apex Legends and Brody huh? because, well, I'm talking more about people like Brody. Rage quitters is Ooh. basically what I'm trying to get at. These are players that leave a match early, and these guys in Apex Legends will be met with a prompt, warning them with future matchmaking delays. Players that have been eliminated from the game and cannot respawn will still be able to leave without penalty. Right now, it looks like leaving three matches in a row results in a five-minute ban, while leaving a fourth game increases that time for 10 minutes. What? Mm. I'm not angry. Mm. I'm about to alt out for this discussion, bro. So, like, <laughs> here's the thing. I really like the idea of lever penalties because, like, everyone understands playing solo, yeah. getting that one guy that, like, dies right away because he doesn't listen to you. He runs off, you know, finds a firefight, dies, and he's like, oh, you guys are trash. I'm out. Oh, get better at the game. Uninstall. It just leaves you in the dust. It seems like they're, like, try we use their mute button way too much this week. They're trying to make us not use it because right. I absolutely agree. I hate it. I absolutely want to mute you folks that do this. I hate yeah, it when people want to leave. Like, <laughs> in, I, I'm going to relate it, of course, to my game in, in, in RL. Like, you go, you go down a goal, and people are like, Trying to like forfeit right away. Yeah. Right. Yes. Dude, that happens in every Overwatch too. Like you, like you lose the first point really fast in like 30 seconds. The first push, they're like, oh, GG. They, they're better. They're just better. Go next. Go again. Yeah. That that XQC mentality. <laughs> right. Uh, he's he's had a big influence on the on the community. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I really I'm a fan of lever penalties. I think you know if you're if you're gonna ruin other people's games, yeah. you, sh you don't deserve to play as much. Yeah. Simple as that. I, I want them to even be stricter sure. with this. We've seen a few mm -hmm. implementations of this. I want to see what your best is. So like in in okay. Overwatch is kind of cool where mm -hmm. if someone leaves early enough, the match actually just gets canceled. You don't yeah, actually I think it's like in the playing. first minute. 
Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. it's very brief, and so I think that's fair. in Rocket League, a minute and a half in, until a minute and a half's gone by, you actually can't even ask to forfeit. It will just abandon match, yeah. and then we'll give you the, the penalty for, uh, like, five-minute ban. Right. So if you absolutely do want to leave, you can, but you're going to get banned. And then we also saw Grand Theft Auto, bad players and players that got reported, got the dunce cap and actually got put into their own servers. Oh, yes, I remember this. And they had this. to only play against people yeah. that were misbehaving. Yeah. So out of these implementations, what do you think is the best for, like, competitive games? Do you think we should implement without that dunce cap? Without a doubt. Like, so when you're going into a competitive setting, you should be there to win, mm -hmm. right? No, no, Everyone there should be giving it their all. And if you're going to be able uh, to have a good time, everyone needs to be committed to that yeah. entire game. If you're not going to be committed, you shouldn't play. Why are you queuing ranked if you don't want to play it? Like, exactly. that, that's my question. Exactly. Going to casual. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Anyways, it's time to check in with streamers and clip. But first up, we have a clip from Emong that explains how to get a girlfriend. Tips for getting a girlfriend? That was for you. Oh, me? Oh. Y yeah. I, I have the social skills of like a two year old. I have no clue. You could start by asking a girl to play a game with you and then telling them that you'll get them in in a few games and then the girl will wait a couple hours and then you'll never actually end up playing with her because you brought someone else in instead and then and then you can slide into her DMs and apologize about not bringing her in because I worked for him. <laughs> That's <laughs> amazing <laughs> the weight game you can see the gears turning in his head where he looks at her and he's like i don't know like how did we end up together and he, yeah. he remembers is like oh that one time i totally ghosted you <laughs> and like slid into your dms to is apologize that, is that the real advice just make him wait uh he, i guess he was playing hard to get in his own way he was like inadvertently accidentally or was it planned 300 Conspiracy IQ theory play. number, I don't know, 87 <laughs> on the show by me, friend. Like, I, yeah, I don't know. I think the real advice is just be you. And if the person likes you, they'll wait around for lame. you. Lame. All right, guys, here's the <laughs> real advice from a real Chad, okay? So what you do is you, you queue up in a game with them. Don't ghost them. Get them in your game. Win seven or eight in a row so they see how awesome you are at video games. Yeah. And then you, you toss them, uh, hey, you know, like, uh, that was really fun. You know, I would love to do this again sometime, but uh, you need to improve. I can give you some pointers. I could, I could coach you or something. So, so <laughs> tell them they're crap. No, not crap. Berate their them. That's but, the advice they, we're giving right you now. You want to spur uh, dependency. You, oh. you, you, you spur need... dependency. <laughs> this is the worst advice. I was advice. joking. I was joking. Don't clip it. Don't take it seriously. <laughs> okay, go on. <laughs> All right, let's get out of this. Uh, Moo 100 uh, times, I'm oh, sorry, Moo 10 times discovers how many rubber bands it takes to cut a watermelon in half in this clip. Oh. Let's see. Oh god. Ah, wait. It's... It's doing something. What's happening? <laughs> that is a dangerous game you're playing. Like, I like that he's in a tub, he's got the helmet on. Yeah, he's preparing. But you need bigger gl safety goggles than that, though. Well, that's a, well, that's a quite the number, 439. That's a lot larger than I expected, actually. Really? Yeah, I was expecting, what kind like, of... double digits. Like, maybe in the 80s or 90s, before, like, 100. What kind of weak elastic bands are you using, man? I only buy the what? primo elastic bands. That's what I'm saying. My well, elastic bands can thing. do it in 10. Really? No, I On don't this know. show, let's bring in Can like, we get a watermelon? watermelon? Can we get, bring in the watermelon. No? <laughs> no, because no, someone no, else okay. is going to have to clean that up. They don't want to <laughs> deal with that. We don't even clean let's it up. Let's move on. It's time of the day where we browse the aisles of the Twitter Mart in an attempt to get the best tweet from the pros. Welcome to Profound Thoughts. Our first tweet comes from new League of Legends player Rick Fox, who's currently looking for a duo partner. It says, Lucian Main, 49, affable, devoted, courageous. ADC, get it? Enjoys long ways back to lane after giving up first blood. Dangerously early Drake calls in second to last hitting. Looking for an I would die for you, loyal support. No Yumi's uh, need apply. Seeking arrangement. Hashtag seeking iron too. Um, you know, uh, I would apply, but bro, you need to chill on the hashtags. What? I'm calling you out right now. What? Max two hashtags. Max two hashtags. Well, that I mean, is he, it. he didn't grow up on the internet. You know, he's a big traditional sports star. You can give him some slack here. He's an iron, he's an iron two of Twitter. What's wrong with being an iron two? 
<laughs> Nothing, because oh, that's yeah. what I, I probably would We've got a lot around. of people in this office that are probably the Iron 2. <laughs> wow, calling out everyone. No, just calling out Lisa. Lisa's Should... Iron 2. Lisa's not very good. Like, I always ask her, oh, I want to play League of Legends. She's like, oh, yeah, sure. But then um, she never follows through. And then I'm like, oh, I wonder, like, why is she ghosting me? She doesn't want to play. She maybe not like me. You I looked realize at her rank. she is in control of the show right now. I looked at her right rank. Now. And then she said, oh, I'm dropping bombs right here, truth bombs. She is just not that good. She, she's embarrassed to play with me. That's what it is. That's just what it is. I, I, I was going to stop him, but I kind of wanted to hear that. He's <laughs> speaking for I'll the stop office. I'll stop that before I get fired. <laughs> Let's move on. So our next tweet comes from R6 Pro Laxing with the very first World Gamer moment. The tweet says, I have a mental breakdown when I use one of the hand emojis and I'm trying to choose the right pigment of my skin because it varies on the day whether I went outside or not. <laughs> uh, Lisa's had that problem too. I'm gonna talk about yeah, Lisa again. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna. I'll have to talk about it too. Lisa, <laughs> Lisa sent me a message the other day, and it was very clearly a thumbs up that was nowhere near Wait, her skin tone. I have tone. the exact same story. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? I can't say anything. It's 2019. You can be whatever you want. I that's suppose. That's true. But like, so she. <laughs> I heard her in Let my me ear. Let my fantasy. Yeah, that's what she said. So she used like one that was very obviously like three shades darker than her, and I was yeah. like, I didn't have a problem with it. I just asked like, why was that her preferred one? And she said, oh, you know, like, uh, I just didn't care. It must have been an accident. So she changed it, and then she was like, far too light. She just has no like self awareness. Maybe she's actually just blind. Oh that my could god! Be a Everyone in the show too. can't see. Everybody, go to the optometrist. I, 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 I was going I to go. Fix Marissa. Next will be you. And <laughs> I, was then gonna, her. I was, I was going to, but they didn't have an appointment. I didn't, stop coming for me. Let's talk about our last. Uh, tweet. All right, our last tweet for the day is half poggers and half cute. Don't know what I mean by that? Well, then check out this tweet from MLG analyst Nameless. The tweet simply says, "My cat is a unit." Dude, my cat is yoked. She's literally doing muscle ups, bro. Bro. What are you doing? Come on, let's go. One more. Yeah! There it is. Uh-huh. Good set. What? Seriously, that cat is way more jacked than I am. What? Okay, wait, good question, right? Are you a dog or a cat person? Oh, d dog for sure. So for I sure. was a dog person. Why? But this clip might have swayed my opinion. Oh, okay. So the reason why is because they can do like such better tricks. Like cats can just lay there and you're, you know, they make you. The you're, issue yeah. is that cats will only do it on their own term. Exactly. They will not do it when you want to hang this, out with this them. This cat was like, you know, it was, it was, it was active, it was motivated, yeah. it was trying to get ripped, and then he was like, you can do it, he spurred yeah. him on. And the cat's like, yeah, I believe in myself. And he kind of like I listened to the end. Myself. And he, you know, that's a cool party trick. You can be like, that's all right, cat hit the gym. Wait, right? so question, do you, he called them muscle ups. They're, I've they're never called heard them ups. called muscle ups before. Uh, so chin ups are when you pull your chin over, muscle ups, I think are when you're holding it this pull way, ups. and then you pull them all the way. Yeah, no, pull, pull ups. ups. Oh, wait, you know, well, neither of us go to the gym. We don't really know. That's true. We can't comment <laughs> on that. So let's move on because it's time to get to some crowd control. I ain't going to bore you. Let's just dive into it. D d you'll see what I, what I did. Ha! Is he wearing a pig mask? He dove into it. Yo, straight up. <laughs> That's like when I try to wake up in the morning and I don't have my coffee. Oh, he slowed it down. Oh, <laughs> boom. Cement to the face. I, I, I don't know, I just, I loved it. I, I, I saw it and I chuckled. And, that was uh, a missed input. And it was very, it's very That relatable. was definitely a missed input. I think he, the he game to, had the missed input well, on that no, one. Because I think the camera changes depending on what you want to do. So he's getting out the car and it like panned him getting out the car. But he, he wanted to stay at the angle when he got initially uh, like parked yeah. there. So he like hit the button input too early and it buffered and he went straight into the concrete. Maybe. That's, that's my theory. I have no more theories Because I'm it. trying to save him face. The, the other answer is you're real bad. <laughs> you're like, you just don't know what you're doing. And you don't know the timings. You don't know the buttons. I wanted to say, oh, it was you playing, but that wasn't even a good insult. No, so I'm very good go at video on. games. I have nothing else. I'm, I'm amazing <laughs> at video games, and I'm also a big fan of video games, especially things by Square Enix, which showed off their Avengers game recently, and it came with a, quite a bit of criticism from fans. Wait a minute. You guys aren't the real Avengers. <laughs> Yeah, so a lot of people were hating on on the models. Yes. Right? Like, I, yes. like I thought the game looked we're pretty in decent. We're Valley now, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard you had a conspiracy theory about this. Though. I do. I always have a conspiracy theory okay. about everything. Okay. So, what are you so here's about mine. Yeah. They started developing the game before they got permission to use the likeness of the MCU oh. actors. But they're like, we really need them to do this. They're probably going to sign off on it because they're so popular and they're nice people, right? And this will obviously make the game so much more popular to see Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark. But then they're like, uh, okay, you need to pass a little bit to sweeten the deal. What are we talking? Uh, 78 quadrillion per actor. 
let me get back to you on that. And they scrapped everything. And we ended up with like weird mashups of kind of Mark Ruffalo, but not quite. Yeah. I don't know. Give me your tinfoil hat real quick. All because right, here you go. Thank you. There you go. I think it's even more genius than that. You, you guys remember the Sonic movie? And how like, yes. you know, I believe the Sonic movie put that out on purpose that it was so bad. Oh, the bad yeah, yeah. Uh, so, design. So when they come back and make it look better, it's like, oh, look, we listened. And we changed it. And now people want to see it. Same thing here. They knew that... Everyone wanted the Avengers game, but they knew Final Fantasy would, uh, you know, outweigh it. They knew Cyberpunk would outweigh it. So they're like, yo, going forward, we need something that we can fix later that will put us back into the spotlight. So now, when they fix the models, they're going to be back in the spotlight. That Everyone's is like, incredibly Whoa, I love this game. convincing. Thank you. That is so incredibly convincing. I actually think legitimately they're smart enough, their marketing teams are smart enough to really make this like, a, like an actual thing. That, you're saying I'm smart? You are a genius. Your brain is massive. Thank you. Anyways, in case you guys don't know, Bethesda's game engine has been, well, a little sketchy with object interaction, as evidenced in a few of their games. For our last post, I thought we would take a tour through the Bethesda offices. Plants in Bethesda's office. Wait, what's, I don't get it. They're um, clipping straight through, bro. Oh, wait, I, dude, I didn't even notice. <laughs> I'm just so used to clipping in like video games in general. It's a very common there's, issue. There is it's so bad though. Like uh, you touch that plant, but I live, it's flying off the planet. I live in video games though. It's just, it's my reality that this is how physics work in my world. I don't know, but here's the thing. We know their engine has been so bad for years and they were yes. supposedly going to do ES6. I'll just scroll six in this engine. Right. And my theory, uh, this, I don't think it's a conspiracy theory. It's just a theory is that they didn't announce ES6 at E3 because they're oh, like, uh-oh, we, we actually have to upgrade. remake an engine. Yeah, that's, again. Do you think we're getting a new yeah. engine? Man, here's the thing, like, before we even get to that, right, your conspiracy theories are so good, they shouldn't be called conspiracy theories. They're just truth. Fact. It's just fact. We have science. You know what else is a fact? What's that? Lisa's really bad at everything she oh, does. I'm going to bring it back. I want to bring it back. Can we go back to just really reaming into her? Well, well, the kids like to get her. bored while mom's away, huh? Who invited uh, her? Uh, right. Well, guess what? You know what, I'm gonna have to teach them a lesson later on, so that's it for Unmuted. Uh, remember, you can catch us on all our socials at Squad State. Just to say hi or send us some stuff to react to, we'll see you next time.